Hello and welcome to tutorial number 25 on the feeling, which is on this, um, brass explosion, as I like to call it. This. Or more specifically this. And in the track. So yeah, uh, the first thing, this is basically just a sound font that plays in Fruity Sound Font Player. So, number one, this won't take long. And number two, you need the 32-bit version of FL Studio. Um... Yeah, because it, you need that for the sound font player. Though you could just replace it with another player, like Direct Wave or something like that, and it'd probably work fine. Alright, also, bit of a bummer. You know how in the project opening info it's like, very important, please download this sound font. Forgot to mention this one. Oh well. In any case, this plays just this one single note in the entire track. Except for this one which is extremely jazzy. So, it's just a brass sound font. Now, at the time, I remember finding this sound font in like a a pack of sound fonts. So, like various jazz sound fonts. Um, and I remember someone, I think someone just posted it as like a direct attachment on some forum post, deep in some thread somewhere in the annals of time, and I can't find it again. So, no idea where the hell I got these. Almost certainly pirated, but whatever. So I'll put a link in the description for these if you want them, because I guess they're pretty good and quite useful. They're only a couple of meg big, so why the hell not? Oh shit. Anyway. So it's just a sound font plus two effects. It's so simple I'm not going to uh, recreate it. So it's just this sound font. I pro- Ooh. No, I didn't change the ADSR, fair enough. Plus an OTT, with about 140% medium, 160% high, turn off the low volume, so just a OTT. Oh shit, oops. And a short reverb, where I just turn the decay down really low, like half a second, turn up the wet a bit, about three quarters. And that's the entire video. Hope you learned lots and lots. See you in the next one.